Hello, I'm your host, Jordan Jackson. And I'm your host, Ashley Nye. Welcome back to Andrews Today. Thank you for joining us in our first episode of the new year. Student Activities organized the movie night in Johnson Gym, screening episodes of the 90s sitcom, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Attendees got a chance to get together, enjoy the top seven episodes of all the seasons. Here is Jane Han Myrie with the story. On February 11th, 2017, the Department of Student Activities arranged a fun laugh filled evening for the students by showing the top seven episodes of the 90s sitcom, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Well, we've heard from lots of students that they just love The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and we were just looking for something easy and relaxed to do on a Saturday night where students could just come and go as they wanted to, and we could have something fun. The students were presented with the energetic and soulful humor of renowned actor Will Smith who has to readjust himself to life of glitz, glamour, and Uncle Phil. I think that Fresh Prince of Bel-Air represents a piece of the black community. I don't think it's all encompassing of um, all, the rep all the people in the community, but I do think it represents a piece of it, and it's, uh, it just shares like a piece of us that I feel like everyone does, does have inside of us. I am definitely going to miss you, C. As you know, a few weeks ago, the President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, issued a travel ban not allowing citizens from seven different countries to enter the United States. Not long after Trump issued the ban, our very own University President, Andrea Luxton, sent out a letter to our campus community expressing our stance on this topic. Our reporter, Michael Hiller, was able to sit down and get a one-on-one -on -one interview with President Luxton. Hello, President Luxton. Hello, good to talk to you again. You know, as president of Andrews University, you know, one of the top uh, diverse schools in the country, um, how were you, were you worried or fearful for the international students that uh, attend to the school? Ye yes, absolutely. And I think that was one of the first things I wanted to do was go in and see uh, how wide, how broad this impact was. So my initial reaction was that I didn't think we had anybody from those countries that would be directly impacted. Right. Um, except I wasn't too sure about um, Sudan. Yeah. And then you also think, well, if this is happening now, what next? Right. So a lot of things were going through my mind. And so I tried to contact a few people straight away to try and find out and check uh, if there was anyone impacted and what yes, we needed yeah. to do. What prompted you to write um, your, your letter, the university response to immigration orders? But we needed to say to the international students, exactly. you know, hey, we're here, we're with you, we're here for you, you're important to who we are, we're important to uh, the Andrews community, and um, you need to know that. Right. And that's the message we wanted to send out, because we knew that in, in the minds of other students would be, well, what if I'm next, or yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is yeah. it going to stop here, and so on. And, and so that, that's the message we wanted to send out. Now, if this ban is reopened and uh, reinforced, how will it... Um, how will it kind of, um, uh, or how does the university plan to, to deal with it? We are not banning anybody. We're yes. not going to be in the, we're, we're not concerned with banning. We're, yeah, we yeah. do not think that's the right way to approach <laughs> this. Um, but of course we cannot impact what happens in the embassies when they're giving visas. Right. Uh, there's, there's no control that we have over that side of things. Some of the students, they are affected. How can we ensure that they're, you know, loved and, you know, let them know that we are um, we're concerned for them. Every person here is valued. They're important to us and we are a family. We're there for each other. Yes. And if someone's hurting, we're hurting with you. Right? Um, I think it's really important that as a Christian campus, as an Adventist campus, um, we don't get our, so let ourselves be pushed around by politics or by anything that, that drives right. wedges between who we are as a community and as people. Yeah. Um, and I would really encourage every student to be willing to just stop and listen to others on the campus who maybe think differently right. from them or come from somewhere else and actually learn and deepen those connections. Um, yeah. Let's not let anything push us apart. We just want to appreciate you for t taking this time to uh, answer these questions and just uh, for the letter and response to the immigration order, which you know demonstrated your concern, your care for the students affected and um, family members um, from this ban order. Well, thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. 
This past Saturday, the Black Student Christian Forum decided to celebrate Black History Month and Valentine's Day in a special way. The Newbold Auditorium was packed with students to ring in the festivities. Here's Alicia Thomas with more. Buller Hall was the place to be Saturday night as students flooded the auditorium for the first ever dating game. There were 12 alternating rounds. Each bachelor or bachelorette had three contestants behind a black curtain. The bachelor or bachelorette quizzed each contestant to find their true love. After an array of intensive questions, contemplation, and advice from the audience, the bachelor or bachelorette gets to meet their soulmate. You hit it off from the start of the match. It's a number two. <laughs> Unique Bolden, one of the lovely contestants from the evening, shared her experience. It's not my usual way to meet people um, or a person that I'm interested in, but it was a great experience. I would do it again. Um, even if it's just BSCF president Esther Battle reveals the purpose of having the dating game. It was like a good, fun Black History Month social activity. We're trying to do a lot of activities that bring all the black students together, um, just for fun and enjoy this month. And also, it was close to Valentine's Day, so it's perfect. At the end of the day, after all the stress of planning the event, Esther deems the event as a success. Um, I think it went better than expected. It was very stressful planning it, really hard to get people to participate in it, um, but it turned out so good. Um, all people participated did such a good job, and people are telling us that they're actually going on their dates, which is good. This is Alicia Thomas reporting for Andrews Today. Thank you for watching. Be sure and tune in next week for more Andrews news. Have a wonderful week.